Josie is the funniest, most joyful little girl in the world. She is pure joy. <laughs> Gianna is a beautiful child, and uh, you know, she is as perfect and beautiful as any child you would ever see. She has a, a smile that lights up a room. She's a happy child, and she's beautiful. What Amara has taught me is that nobody escapes life without challenges, and it is all about what your attitude is. Hey, Amara! So it was probably around four months when I realized that Josie wasn't developing the way other children should develop. She was beginning to miss developmental milestones. Amara began having seizures at seven months old. We started doing every test under the sun. And the genetic test came back with uh, the, the diagnosis of Fox she one syndrome. When we got the diagnosis, um, I didn't really know how to react, to be completely honest. I'd never heard of Fox she one syndrome. And we thought, well, what is that? I mean, we'd never heard of it. We felt desperate. We just felt, how could this be my child's life? My neurologist told me, Nasha, whatever you do, don't go home and start researching online. Of course, that's the first thing I did. Fox G1 syndrome is a devastating disorder that causes severe cognitive, physical, and developmental disabilities. Children undergo life-threatening seizures, feeding difficulty. Many children are fed with a feeding tube, cortical vision impairment, reflux. I mean, head to toe, there are problems for children with Fox G1 syndrome. I just want to know what she has to say. <laughs> She's talking so much. I was told that the lifespan is potentially teens. And I said, no, <laughs> let's change the face of this disorder to give our children the healthy and able life that they deserve. And that's what we did. The Fox G1 Research Foundation is the global organization driving the science to find a cure for Fox G1 syndrome. Since 2017, we have revolutionized the way that natural history studies are done. So we've really become thought of as thought leaders and innovators in the rare disease patient organization space. Sometimes I have to pinch myself to think of how much we've actually accomplished. We want to take advantage of the different therapies, kind of technologies coming down the pipeline. We want to take advantage of precision medicine. As a monogenic disease, Fox G1 is perfectly placed to take advantage and also be the trial test. We find how to fix Fox G1. We invest in understanding the neurobiology of Fox G1. We are contributing massively to science to be able to cure much larger disorders. Scientists have found links from Fox G1 to autism, to Alzheimer's disease, to schizophrenia, and many others. So scientists believe that Fox G1 actually holds the key to unlocking brain disorders affecting millions and millions of people. What Fox G1 Research Foundation is doing is helping fund and helping bring about these cutting edge technologies that, that can change, you can change lives. We're living in a renaissance. We're living in a science renaissance where gene therapies are fixing diseases. We're trying to cure a disease for our own children and we believe in it. We believe it's possible because everything we're seeing in medicine today. You know, John is two years old, you know. When she's five years old, I'd like to, see her walking and talking and eating and playing and living a normal life. This is about giving Josie and giving every child in the world with Fox G1 syndrome abilities and a life without suffering. And there's just no greater purpose than this.